Hi there, and welcome back to the Smart English Coach podcast. In this episode, I have a question for you, and this is the question, what is your game plan for learning English? Now, game plan is a strategy for achieving your goals, and we often use it to talk about sports or business, but I think you can also use it to talk about language learning. Now, this episode was inspired by a student of mine, and this student had an excellent game plan for achieving his goals in English. Now, I was inspired by this because I don't think I've ever really had a game plan for learning a language. And I think his idea was so genius that I'm going to use it myself. So a little bit of background about this student. So he came to the UK about 18 months ago without speaking any English. So imagine you come to the UK and you don't speak the language and everything is new. So it's a new country, it's a new language, it's a new culture. All these things are pretty big things. And he decided really early on that what he really, really needed to do was to speak English. That was his number one objective. He also needed to get a job. And in fact, this is where the game plan, the strategy comes in. He was offered a job, quite a well-paying job, but a job where he wouldn't speak English. He would speak his first language. So he decided that he would not take this job because speaking English was the most important thing for him. So what happened was that he took a lower paying job. And in the UK, these are generally jobs um, with customer interaction. So we're talking about jobs in hospitality often. He took a lower paying job because it had the chance for him to speak English and to speak English a lot. And then so his game plan was learn English and then after that get a better paying job so or get a promotion for example. Did it work? Did this student actually improve his English? I can say he did. When I spoke to him I was so amazed by how excellent his English was. Not just the vocabulary and the grammar but the phrases he used. He was so so natural. So that was his game plan. Do everything that he needed to do for this one objective. And of course he did other things as well. He says himself that he's quite a sociable person so he took every opportunity to speak English. Also outside of work. So he would meet people, he would socialize with people. The main thing was to speak English. So if you want a game plan of your own, I think that there are five main steps. Step number one, work out your overall aim. Is it to pass an exam? Is it to speak English more fluently? Is it to get a better job, for example? So work out your aim. Second step, work out ways of getting there. For this, you might find the coaching circles idea really useful. I talked about coaching circles in the last podcast episode, which you can get from the show notes. But also, if you need more help, just email me. Third step is decide what you're going to sacrifice, what you're going to give up to get to your main goal. This could be, for example, to take a short course in the evening. It could be to not watch television, for example. But what are you willing to give up to reach your goal? In my student's case, he gave up the idea of a better paying job so that he could speak English more fluently. Number four, tell yourself what success looks like for you. So this could be to speak English more easily. This could be to write emails more quickly. This could be to pass an exam with particular grades, for example. But tell yourself what success looks like. And then the fifth and really important point, celebrate. Make sure that you celebrate your excellent results. And then, of course, you can set 
your next game plan for your next goal. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss another episode. Speak soon.